it's Bunny and welcome to today's video. For today, we are gonna check out a compilation of double standards. Basically, women being called out for double standards. Let's see how much we are gonna cringe throughout this video. And also, I hope I'm gonna have a thing or two to say about it. Let's go, shall we? Women says she doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna be with a light-skinned man. Preference. Yeah. Man says he doesn't wanna be with a dark-skinned woman. Discrimination. Discrimination. For sure. Women says she really? doesn't want to be with a short man. Oh, no, preference. How many times have you heard that? That's We hear that all the time. Every girl I've ever, almost <laughs> every girl I've ever met will always say, besides the one exceptions, yeah. I want a guy who's taller than me. Yeah. I mean, Man that's says that she doesn't want to be with an overweight woman. Oh, Lord. You can't say that online. Oh, yeah. Discrimination. 100%. 100%. And hateful. Hate speech. Women says she doesn't want <laughs> More like fat shaming, but also preparation. I would say if a person says that out of nothing, like out of the blue, without having a topic, then that would be very sus. But for example, if I did ask for his opinion physically what he would like in a woman and what he wouldn't like, then I would have to accept his opinion. I would not fat shame him for that. You want to date a man with a small penis. Oh. Have, have you heard that before? All the time. I, preference. 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 <laughs> preference. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, preference. Man says he doesn't want to date a woman with a small butt. Discrimination. You hate women's bodies now. You hate all women's bodies. <laughs> you... Poor guys. Do you really have to go through that? If you really think about it, pedophiles have really ruined it for just like adult men who just really love kids and babies love playing with them teasing with them joking with them because adult men can't even show their affection for children and babies anymore without people thinking they're a pedophile and that's true i feel bad for them and if it wasn't for those pedophiles in the first place it wouldn't be like this true despite what people may tell you your virginity does not measure your worth say it with me your virginity does not measure your worth thousands of men come to my video saying that i'm used me and therefore i am worthless essentially insinuating that i'm not a virgin and because i'm not a virgin no one wants to be with me this type of mentality is absolutely damaging it's men like this that applaud other men for their sexual partners while shaming women for theirs this double standard is unacceptable and we will not stand for it if you yourself are not a virgin then you have no right to request to be with a virgin if you want a woman who is virtuous and pure because purity and virginity are one and the same right then you yourself must be virtuous and pure we we women are human beings we are not commodities we are much more than a social construct this is our body our choice we deserve respect we deserve love irrespective of our sexual partners and we are not going to allow men to tell us what to do with our bodies and tell us who we can and cannot be with to be honest like I am 50-50 with this one. Not even 50. I would say 85% agreeable with her. Because as you can see, she's a Muslim and she's wearing the hijab. And in a Muslim culture, me being a Muslim as well, it is really hard for women to do anything, even like date a guy, hold hands or whatever, without other people already saying that they are not virtuous at all. Not even going to the virginity part of it, you guys. Like, it is so freaking hard for women to keep their face, basically, in such a culture. And at the same time, meet a guy, date a guy, be in a relationship with a guy. And that's why a lot of times they have to hide it and be ashamed of it while guys on the other hand don't have to do it and they can talk to other guys about it and be applaud about it you know celebrate that they're with other girls and whatnot be congratulated for it so i do kind of agree and understand that but at the same time religiously looking at it uh, because she is wearing the hijab it is expected from her to be virtuous nonetheless so it's 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 kind of kind of hard you know what really baffles my brain is that football players can watch film on other people playing the game for 10 hours to learn how to get better but when i do that with porn i'm a sicko and i'm nasty and i need to get alive double standards these days i don't think that popcorn actually teaches you maybe you need some type of like tutorials how to do it and i'm sure you are not watching it to learn maybe you are maybe you actually are just watching it to learn and be better for your significant other but how many out there are doing that a lot of people will say that sex work is degrading and it's morally wrong but then they'll exclusively so belittle female sex workers like they don't say that the males are degrading themselves like just say you hate women and move on 
Um. Double standards that I hate that women do. Part one. They flirt with guys and say it's harmless, but accuse you of cheating. They overlook your needs and desires, but demand you pay attention to theirs. They won't tell you where they're going, but they demand to know your whereabouts. Dude, that is that is so not double standards. That is like you are dating uh, uh, the wrong woman. Definitely the wrong woman. That that's that's a messed up person. Not a woman thing. I think it would be the same with some guys out there. You wanna have with me? Uh, no. It's a very weird proposition. That's very strange. What is that, Plus, I think that's stepping out of regular social conventions. I'm gonna walk away now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One thing I'm not a big fan of is how black women have been the blueprint for so many style trends in current American pop culture. Yet for years, black women had to be called ghetto, mocked and discriminated against for those style trends, yet the second that white celebrities and white influencers co-opt that shit, it's seen as trendy or in season. And none of these influencers or creators will ever have to deal with the subjugation and discrimination that black women faced, reinforcing the overwhelming double standard that black women have to face in this country. It's just really fucking unfair and I fucking can't stand it. To be honest, in a way, yeah, I understand your point, but there is nothing wrong in celebrating black beauty and paying attention to it, no matter the source of the outcome, like where it came from and who collaborated with who to make it happen. As long as it happens and as long as it brings attention to the right thing, I don't see any wrong there. And I do believe that every beauty should be celebrated. And since we have been celebrating white beauty, yeah, white beauty for centuries, I think we do need to pay attention to other beauty as well. Other people's beauties. Girls like you are the reason men want to die. <laughs> die that bitch! Cancel. Wow. That is exactly what would be said to a man if he said this about a woman. But not only that, I mean, his mom would be calling him, his sister would be calling him, his friends would be yelling at him. Oof. He would probably get fired from his job and added to some, like, no hire list. So let's talk about the double standard. And for the girl in the video, I mean, if you really hate them that much, just stay away from them. Exactly. Just don't date them. Block them. Respect. Stop asking females how many bodies she got. For one, you're a virgin, reaping the benefits of respecting your body, but then you want to tell other women not to respect their body. Women have all the standards in the world. You got to have this much money. You got to be this tall. You got to be doing this and that with your life. But as a man, I can't say, okay, be attractive, but not be a slut. What's wrong with that? If I ask you a body count, that's because I'm seriously considering you being wife material. I firmly believe people do not change. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. I know y'all done heard this. Let's be grown now. Ain't no man about to put no ring on no garbage. A women expect us to just, y'all just expect us to settle for whatever the fuck y'all bring. As a woman out here being promiscuous, what do you bring to the relationship besides a low quality vagina? Yeah, I don't need your money. I don't need you to cook or clean for me. My mother taught me how to do that. So what are you bringing? Nothing. Low quality? Oh my god, okay, this guy could have said what he wanted to say in so many words without calling a woman garbage for being with multiple men. And it doesn't mean that she's the worst for being with multiple men. Like, maybe she was in love with these guys. Maybe she had a couple of relationships that she really was in love with them and she thought it is what it is and it happened and she's not a wife material anymore. Wow garbage wow that's that's the thing that's a double standard that i personally don't like at all because guys can be with so many girls and the body count would be celebrated but a woman has to be ashamed of it because she's not a wife material if she if she tells them how many people she were with even if she was with people she was in a relationship with dude bruh if she's too young to be wearing that then she's too young to be sexualized. Leave young girls alone for dressing comfortably for the weather. In the winter, they wear sweaters. And in the summer, they wear tank top and shorts. Why is that such a radical concept? Okay. Yep. If you are a man and your woman tells you to shut the fuck up. Skirt, rewind. Um. 
Um, <laughs> nope, because I'm about to make a bunch of people mad, and I don't even care. I don't even care. Okay. Ladies, you should not be talking to your man like that. You want to know why? Because, sis. If you want him to respect you, you have to show him respect. Just because you have boobs and a vagina does not give you the right to talk to him any kind Reach of way. Reach it! A relationship should be built on mutual respect. Yep. If you cannot respect the person that you're with and talk to them in a respectful way, you shouldn't be with them. Now, if you're joking and you guys are having a funny conversation and you're being sarcastic or whatever, that's fine. Yeah, that's But that fine. is not what this video was in reference to. Yep. This is the problem with relationships now. Because of things like this, people think that this is okay, and it's not. This is toxic. Be yep. better. It's toxic. I agree with you, girl. One thing I've never understood is this double standard when it comes to men and women's body count. Like, first of all, body count is stupid as hell. Second of all, why does a woman having a high body count automatically make her a thought or something like that? But if a man has a high body count, it automatically makes him a king. Like, the double standard. And some of y'all will try to argue and be like, oh, yeah, I don't want a girl with a body count higher than three because she been ran through. You don't shut your immature ass up. Like, some of y'all men forget y'all have a thing down there, too. And some of y'all things be looking nasty as hell. Like, some of y'all men's Ew, areas be looking more know. bumpy than a crunch bar. And y'all got the nerve to talk about somebody else. I swear, it be the men who are still virgins and have never even kissed a girl who be talking about a girl's body count. Like, shut your ass up and go touch some grass. <laughs> Like, I, I really tried to be respectful as much as possible, and then this guy preached it. I need to learn how to slay it like that. Whoa. I just feel as if a man should accept the woman any size that they are. I guess it's on. Did you guys date anybody who is shorter than you? It's not really. No, I don't think so. For me either, no, it's... Like he has a real issue with shorter boys. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna sound really bad, but for me, personally, I'm kind of known as, like, going for really tall guys, so for me, yeah, it does, yeah. I think anything below she's five really tall. foot six, it matters. Does height matter when it comes to dating a guy? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, for me, it doesn't matter because I'm a small. short girl, yeah. yes. How, how tall are you guys? I'm... To be honest, for shorter girls, it doesn't matter because it's really hard to find guys that are shorter than us. Like, it really needs to be someone really special for us to date that is short because we, we, we don't even find guys that are shorter than us. <laughs> I have never met a guy. Actually, yes, I have. Yes, one time, one guy. But he was a friend. He... he he was always a friend. Okay, listen, he was never a date material. It's not that I didn't date him because he was short. He was not a date material. For me, at least. <laughs> oh. It doesn't matter because I'm a small. short girl, yes. How, how tall are you guys? I'm <laughs> one meter and 60 centimeters, so... Yeah, and I'm taller one than me. meter and 67. I think height definitely matters. It helps you feel more attractive if the guy you're with is taller than you. Oh. Be honest. <laughs> I wouldn't date someone shorter than me. <laughs> so, would you date a shorter guy with a good personality? Maybe for a date, but not permanently. So then, like, the hypothetical like question that I put up is, like, there's a guy, you know, he's 10, he has his life together, he's confident, successful, but he's a tad short. So then, what would, would, would you date this guy? I think I would either. I think so. I like a guy to be. If the guy is so freaking cool, it doesn't matter if he's tall or short. There are so many short guys out there that are hella awesome, hot, cool, funny, even celebrities like Zac Efron, for example. He's not that tall, but he's everything. The question that I put up is like, there's a guy, you know, he's 10, he has his life together, he's confident, successful, but. He's a tad short. So then, what would, would, would you date this guy? I don't think I would either. I think so. I like a guy to be slightly taller than me because I like being 
smaller. It's just a thing, as she said, she likes to feel smaller because we are used to be like protected by guys and we like the, our guys to be uh, the people we can count on in physical encounters. And when somebody is taller, it automatically means that he's kind of bigger than you and he can protect you more because we need security. We need protection. And that's the reason I think why a lot of women don't really like to date smaller guys. Honestly, I keep going back to it. I think it's for taller women, like bigger problem for taller women than shorter women. For shorter, shorter women don't really care because it's really hard to find a shorter guy that they like. So yeah, it's easier. We have more options. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about these double standards? And if you want me to make more videos like this where I share my opinion about it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I love you guys and see you in the next video. Bye.